Good morning. Uh, let me just uh, greet the members of the cabinet who are here with us and our uh, uh, host, uh, the Pasay City Mayor, <laughs> Pasay City Mayor Rubiano, uh, AFP Chief of Staff, and the uh, commanders of the different services, PNP Chief uh, General Romel Marbil, uh, Philippine Coast Guard Commandant uh, Admiral Ronnie Hill Gavan, and of course, our uh, good First Lady, uh, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Now I would like to make uh, my departure statement for uh, the uh, trip that I am uh, embarking upon today. At uh, the invitation of His Majesty Sultan Haji ha Hassanal Bolkia Muizadin Wadurhala, I will embark on a journey to Brunei Darussalam for a state visit. It's my first state visit to Brunei Darussalam, and it is part of my traditional tour of fellow ASEAN member states since I assumed the Philippine presidency two years ago. Brunei and the Philippines have enjoyed historically warm relations based on mutual respect and trust and confidence. Brunei has continuously been a reliable partner of the Philippines, and our countries have enjoyed extremely friendly relations since we established relations 40 years ago. Sa aking biyahe, patungong Brunei, babaunin ko ang aking tungkulin, babaunin ko ang aking tungkulin at pangako na lalo pang palakasin at ang ating pagkakaibigan at pagtutulungan sa at, ng ating bansa, sa ibang bansa, kagaya ng Brunei Darussalam. And as soon as I, as I arrive as, uh, at Bandar Seri Begawan, I will be meeting with His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al Bolkia to review the progress of our bilateral cooperation, explore new mutually beneficial partnerships and collaborations aimed at achieving prosperity. We must now deepen the bonds of friendship between our two countries. We expect to conclude several agreements ranging from security to tourism and agriculture. Brunei has always been an important partner when it comes to defense cooperation with the Philippines. So during my trip, I will discuss with His Majesty ways for further cooperation with Brunei in ensuring the defense of our countries and of our region. As mentioned in my State of the Nation address last year, tourism continues to be an important economic engine of our growth, employing at least 5 million of our Kababayans. During this trip to Brunei, we will sign the Philippines Brunei Darussalam MOU on tourism cooperation. And through this MOU, we hope to entice and attract Bruneian tourists to explore the Philippines. Uh, Brunei, despite having a relatively small population, it is the quality of tourists and not the quantity that counts. These are also among the key priorities born from the successful convening of the third Philippines Brunei Joint Commission for Bilateral Cooperation, which was held last August. I am confident that our partnership with Brunei in these important sectors will further bolster our political, economic, and people-to-people -people ties. To tomorrow, I will engage the business communities in the Sultanate and highlight the Philippines as one of the fastest growing economies of Asia, best as a good choice for investments. I look forward to securing investments that will generate more jobs, contribute to poverty alleviation, and accelerate the economic transformation of our country. From, here, from there, I will proceed to Singapore, and I will deliver the keynote address for this year's Shangri-La Dialogue. In my, it's, the Shangri-La Dialogue is a very important dialogue because it is uh, a dialogue about security and defense concerns amongst several foreign ministers, defense ministers, <coughs> and I think that is a, it is a extremely uh, timely uh, that I attend and put forward the, uh, art and, and articulate the Philippines' perspective and outlook on defense and diplomacy. While we continue to highlight the Philippines' commitment to a rules-based international order and constructive multilateralism amidst the current geopolitical challenges that we face in our region. My visit to Singapore is part of a series of high-level exchanges between Philippines and Singapore, which began at the start of the year. This year, 
the Philippines and Singapore are celebrating 55 years of diplomatic relations. And my visit is timely, as I will also take the opportunity to invite the new Singaporean president and prime minister to visit the Philippines as a testament to our strengthening bonds. Uh, this is also very useful as they have just changed the leadership. The leadership has just shifted uh, in, uh, uh, earlier this month and it would be very, very good to begin immediately uh, to start to strengthen our relations with the new leaders of uh, Singapore. Hangad ko po na sa aking pag-uwi dito ay may hatid kaming pasalubong na magandang balita mula sa aming pagbisita sa Brunei at sa Singapore. Maraming maraming salamat po at magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat.